the Bitcoin L1 is complex. Um, it's complex because it's simple. And a lot of people believe rightfully so that it shouldn't be changed and it should remain that way. Uh, as we know, we have the Bitcoin L1, the Bitcoin network um, that again has been around since uh, 2008, 2009, but we need more pieces of the puzzle built on top of that as a technical stack to actually make all of it usable. So Bitcoin is limited in a couple of ways. It has a really limited scripting language. It often has high fees and there's a lot of network congestion and it has 10 minute block times. And if you think of the growth on Bitcoin, the activity that happens on Bitcoin, that is inevitable as we've seen since the introduction of uh, things like ordinals that take place. You know, it brings tons of usage, users, congestion, increases transaction fees. We're already seeing that for most people using Bitcoin at the L1 is either too expensive or just too technically difficult. And so people are going to end up using Bitcoin via other means, whether that's custodial centralized solutions or open network non-custodial decentralized solutions. And so we have the Bitcoin L1, we then have um, some new technologies or newer uh, release technologies around uh, something like DLCs, discrete log contracts. And then we get up into the L2s, uh, layer twos, which are the scaling solutions um, with many different varieties of consensus mechanisms and network types. And so if you, th if you think about the layer two conversation, you know, this conversation opens up a solution to scale activity on Bitcoin securely. And it does that while opening new use cases for Bitcoin. And it avoids those things like congestion and high transaction fees on the layer one. So the introduction of layer two allows Bitcoin activity to grow without congesting the layer one. In addition to that, like Bitcoin layers kind of give us the best of both worlds, in my opinion. Um, they give us a stable, mature base layer uh, with innovation on the layer twos where consensus is easier to achieve and is easier to actually make changes to that layer. And so Bitcoin layers like Stacks are really aiming to extend this functionality to improve on the user and developer experience. So Bitcoin layers are incredibly important because they help to make up that technical stack that applications will use uh, for end users uh, to leverage in some capacity. Bitcoin layers like Stacks enhance Bitcoin's functionality by introducing smart contract functionality. To access whether it be Bitcoin as an asset, BTC, or uh, use cases like Bitcoin, DeFi, NFTs, and otherwise. So those kinds of use cases and utilities are now possible uh, with Bitcoin layers and Stacks is a tool to enable that. So where I see layer twos coming in is let's unlock this accessibility and the scalability and this additional functionality for people, but do that in a way that still fits with the decentralization mission of Bitcoin itself, so that we're then not by default turning to have to rely on these centralized custodial solutions.